This is a patient who comes in with GI bleeding who got a CT scan, a GI bleeding protocol with multiple phases. So we start off with our non-contrast phase to see if there's any areas of high attenuation uh, and also it serves as a uh, baseline for the um, post-contrast phases to come. And we'll notice as we scroll downwards that the rectum looks very abnormal. It's distended with uh, stool, lots of inflammatory change, so we're going to investigate that a little bit further as we go through the other phases. In the arterial phase, we're not seeing any active bleeding if we scroll downwards, but again, as we get to the rectum, we see that it's thickened, there's all that stool there, a lot of inflammatory change, and in fact, there's disruption of the rectum as well over here posteriorly with this uh, collection containing stool and fluid posteriorly, and so that's really compatible with a perforated rectum, uh, presumably in the context of stroke colitis, as this rectum is quite distended and filled with stool. We also notice uh, on this phase and on the non-contrast phase, a few folks have gas in the vagina, and that's going to become important in a little bit. As we go to our more delayed phase, we can again appreciate the findings of perforated uh, rectum with all the stool going out posteriorly and that uh, contained collection uh, posteriorly. But we can also appreciate right around here is this communication, this fistula between the rectum and the vagina. You can see the vagina filled with a little bit of fluid over here. We can see now the foci of gas as well within it. And so not only does this patient have a perforated rectum, the patient also has a fistula that's developed to the vagina.